Hi everyone and welcome to Poppy DIY Crafts. Today we're going to be making some ring dishes. So I have a number of these super tiny rubber animals from Safari LTD. They are very detailed and really, really beautiful. I thought they would look really good if we put them into a little dish like this with some resin. And for the colors, I wanted to use these Prisma colors from Pebio. These are super cool. So here's a sample. After they dry, they create these really cool round cells. So today I have eight animals and I have eight little dishes. Let's get a respirator mask and some gloves on and let's get started. So I've gone ahead and put all the little dishes onto a tray. This will make it easier for me to move all the dishes to a new location after pouring the resin. So the first thing we want to do is pour a layer of clear resin. I've gone ahead and mixed 30 ml of resin. These dishes are pretty deep and I want to raise the floor up a little bit. So we're going to pour a layer of clear resin and then we'll put the paint on top. Here I'm using a heat gun to quickly pop the bubbles. Then we're going to let it sit overnight to cure. It's been a day and we're ready to add a paint. I've already uncapped all the bottles and gave them a good stir to mix the paint. As you can see here, the resin is cured and now the bowl is not as deep. To add the paint, we're going to simply drop some in with a craft stick. We want the paint to pull on the bottom, so I'm adding enough to cover the entire bottom of the dish. For each of these dishes, we're going to add at least two colors. Taking the dish, we're going to turn it so that the colors swirl and spread across the entire bottom. I think all the colors work pretty well together in this set, so I'm not going to be too picky about which colors are matched together. This is actually really relaxing, watching the colors swirl and mix. The paint does not dry very fast, so we can take our time. The cells actually do not form until it has been sitting for a while, so right now you're not going to see those cells appear. Now we're going to go back and add a third color to the mix. We'll mix it up a bit using a toothpick. Then we're going to let it sit for a day to cure. Alright everyone, so the paint has dried and they are looking really, really amazing. Look at them. I love these little cells that the paint produces. So I did not have to add anything to the paint. I just have to drip it in just as you saw me earlier. And when the paint dries, it creates these beautiful cells all by itself. So I just really love this paint. Just look at that. So now we're ready for the next step. We have our little animals here and now we can put them onto the dish and add a very thin layer of resin. Once again, let's put on our respirator and our gloves and let's pour some resin. I don't want the resin top coat to be too thick, so I'm just going to drip the resin in with a craft stick. And just like before, swirl the dish around to ensure full coverage. Now we can add the elephant. Let's do the same with the gorilla. And then for the rest of them, we're going to do them in one large batch. I'm going to pour resin into the rest of the dishes first. Give it a quick blast with a heat gun to spread the resin and also to pop the bubbles. Then we're going to swirl the dish around to ensure full coverage of the clear resin. And last of all, we're going to add all the animals in the center of the dish.
All right, everyone, and we are done. So let's take a look at each of our little trinket dishes. So this one is the elephant. Looking super nice. I just love this. Isn't it beautiful? Here is the giraffe. This one is the hippo. Here's the tiger. I really love that orange here. We have the gorilla. The lion. Here's the zebra. And finally, we have the rhino. So this was a really fun project and I love how the little ring dishes turned out. So let me know down below in the comment section which one is your favorite. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and I'll see you next time. Bye!